When most people think of film festivals, the first names that come to mind are names like Sundance and Cannes. But the Ann Arbor Film Festival is the oldest and best home for independent and experimental film. The Ann Arbor Film Festival's mission is to provide a forum for experimental film, to showcase the artists and their work, and also to promote the genre of experimental and independent films. But in the new digital world, when you can make your own movies, edit them on your own computers, and distribute them on the internet, you don't have to be Andy Warhol to know that the definition and boundaries of what is new, what is experimental, and what is art is changing. The images may look like this. What's, What's on, on screen, screen may, may sound, sound like, like this. this. You may shoot your movie in this format or watch them like this. If you're at all interested in the state of the cinematic art or if you're interested in what the future might hold for independent and especially experimental film, then the Ann Arbor Film Festival is the place to be. I never miss the Ann Arbor Film Festival. I come every year. It doesn't matter how busy or how broke I am, I always try to show up for at least one showing. I'm very much looking forward to sitting down in my usual seat and being amazed by what things look like on the big screen. We don't get to Cannes too often, <laughs> so this does it for us. James Keith Lacroix, uh, you look out the window here, I think our cameras can show it, or they can at least see part of it. We got a line of people all the way down the block yeah. out here Just on great. a Friday night. Um, why are these people out in front of Michigan Theater lining up rather than at the multiplex tonight? Well, I, I think these are the people that would rather see uh, something that's a little bit different, something a little bit on the edge, something a little bit more avant-garde. These are the same people, if they were listening to music, they'd probably be lining up at a jazz club, or they'd be lining up to catch uh, a new music performer. They're not the people that are going to go see the, the Britney Spears of cinema, which is at the cinema at the Cineplex. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what we're looking at right now, and it's great that there's such a big turnout. Well, they care about it. Why should we care about experimental film? Well, experimental film is kind of like the test car of the cinema industry. So this, this is what, we, what the cinema industry uses to, to test all of their, uh, their different experiments as far as camera angles, as far as technique, as far as narrative. Um, and if it wasn't for experimental film, uh, we'd be watching st static stage plays, like yeah. the beginning of cinema. You sit a camera on front of the stage and you have some actors walk in and walk out. You know, uh, it was cinematographers and directors who play games with the camera, who moved it, who play games with the story that got us to where film is today. So those things that we do see at the Cineplex are enriched by what's happening right out here. One more question. The Ann Arbor Film Festival is the oldest festival of its kind. Um, is it relevant? 42 years into existence. I mean, is it relevant mm -hmm. to, to film itself, not just the experimental films in general and the other festivals around mm -hmm. the country that may celebrate experimental film, but does the Ann Arbor Film Festival have something to say to film in general? The Ann Arbor Film Festival is still dedicated to experimental film. It's still that outlet. That's what people come to see. That's what people expect to see. And I don't believe that you really have that kind of outlet in many other venues around the country where independent has been co-opted into just basically being uh, kind of like a shell for corporate. You know, what, what is an independent film now? When, right. you, when, you, when you have these things coming out with $30 million budgets, and, and, and it, I, I shouldn't mm -hmm. say this to demean their work, but mm -hmm. it seems like sometimes the point of getting it to Sundance is to get it somewhere else, to get oh, Miramax to come in and buy it, yeah. You know, yeah. make it big. Yeah, that's true. So this 
you know, what you have right here is so far away from that geographically and, you know, by, its, by the whole goal of what it's here for. I don't think that anybody here is, is looking for Harvey Weinstein to come on and say, kid, you know I'm going to option your pictures. <laughs> I'll make you a star. Yeah, I'm going to make you a star. You know, what's it about? <laughs> you know? James, thank you very much. Thank you.